And just a warning here that our Middle East correspondent Alistair Bunkle's report includes pictures of a woman on fire. The fighting in Gaza has intensified again. Yesterday, six children were killed after a drone strike in Al Shati refugee camp. The boys had been playing football on the street at the time. It is not clear why Israel fired on them. Then, Last night, Israeli artillery hit a UN school in northern Gaza. 20 were killed in this attack. The school was supposed to be used as a polio vaccination centre today. As the wounded were being taken to Al-Aqsa hospital, another Israeli airstrike hit the grounds. Tents where people have been sheltering and sleeping quickly caught a light. They desperately tried to put the flames out as people tried to escape. Rescuers used blankets to try and shield them from the intense heat. One woman crawled out of the fire, still alive. But at least four people burned to death. This morning, people picked through the remains of the tents. The Israeli military said it was targeting a Hamas command center in both strikes, but they have so far provided no evidence of that. My tent, it's gone. Winter is coming. What am I supposed to do? There's nothing left in there. No mattresses, no food, no blankets, all our belongings. We have nothing to wear. I only have what I'm wearing now. The situation in northern Gaza is dire. 30 trucks of food and flour were allowed in today, the first aid to get into the north for two weeks, according to the UN. Israel has ordered everyone to leave and is carrying out another major ground operation. Many Gazans are refusing to move, though, either because they have nowhere to go or because they don't want to surrender their homes to the Israeli military. It is becoming increasingly impossible for them to stay, however. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News, in Jerusalem.